All right. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me or no? Yeah. Yeah, you're on. You're on. What's what's your question? Great. Well, I didn't have a question per se, but I did want to say a few things. <clears throat> thanks for letting me back on again. <laughs> uh, thanks for the book. I finished it today. And Which book? The What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? I started whoa, 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 whoa. Let's give a pitch to everyone. She's talking about my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? A Journey of Personal Development, yeah. Self-Help, and Spiritual Work. Link below. Okay. So I have the paperback, but I listened to it because I... <laughs> Uh, do better with that. Okay. Um, anyway, it was fantastic. And thank you. Um, and it also lines up with a lot of teachings that I study, you know, I, I, I really appreciate it anyway. Okay. All right. I don't have a question except I could tell you where I'm at in my life now. Okay. Well, first off, since I may use this video, why don't you give everyone the backstory by the way, a concise backstory, because you know what a dick I can be when you guys ramble. And you guys have this, you ladies have this incessant way of just talking gibberish. And we have no fucking clue where you're going. And then we're like trying to make sense of it all because it's like noodle soup, you know. Um, so anyway. So give us the backstory. All right. There is no, the, the backstory is very little. Um, I recently had a home disaster, my, my house flooded and I'm in a okay. condo association. Um, so in the process of mitigation and whatnot, um, a maintenance person has come by a couple times and I'm like, man, he's so nice and so pleasant. Um, okay. and man, those handymen get laid a lot. Okay. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I mean, I got to tell you, I'm a coach. I talk to hundreds of women. I would say hundreds of clients a year work with me. Uh, and I got to think at least 5% they're doing it with the handyman or contractor. Okay, so keep going. That's all. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Good info, though. Um, he's ex-military, probably not even interested in me. I just think he's really cool. Um, and we only met a couple of times. So I found them online because I have really good sleuth skills and um, friend requested him and he accepted my friend request and we went on a hike together. And okay. I was like, uh, thanks so much for, you know, putting up with my creepiness because I did look you up. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I guess my question is. Hmm. He's been single for a decade or better. Okay. And probably happily single, but we have a lot of stuff in common, and I don't want to okay. scare him away, but I don't want to lose contact with him. Okay. I keep checking in and being like, hey, like you say, how's your day? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do that, uh, but I don't have interesting things to say every single day. But I do yeah. le want, like, his interests and my interests are very similar, and he's super pleasant. Okay, so I guess the question is, how do you take this from an acquaintance to something romantic? Is that kind of the question? Ish, over, yeah, a period of time. Okay, so, so okay, why a period of time? Well, because I'm, I'm in no rush, and I don't want to scare anyone away. I, I Plus, uh, how old are you? I'm 40, almost 43, and I've, I've, I've been on here before. I have a couple of teenage daughters. I, okay, I, got it. I'm in a rush to... No, I just wanted to know. I mean, for all I know, you were a 60-year-old that looks good. Um, so um, I said, for all I know, you're 60 years old and you look really good. That was a compliment. Okay. You look really good, okay? That was the compliment <laughs> part, okay? Thank okay, you. so here's my belief system. I don't, I believe, you know what? There's no time like the present, okay? So if you're simply looking to build a friendship with him. Yes. Then, then, then simply do things like go for walks or go for hikes together, go out to coffee together, go have a meal together, go to a museum together, do things, um, you know, you can offer to take him out. He can offer to take you out, you know? Um, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, you could simply say, would you be interested in a platonic friendship? 
um, to spend time with each other. I enjoy your company. You enjoy my company. If you're waiting for the man to do that, you know, you're going to become a skeleton, you know, because some men are just shy that way. Some men are uncertain. Some men don't want to make false promises. So if this is something you want, then initiate it. There's no cost to you. Now, I know you might be afraid of losing this tiny li little sliver of a relationship that you do have. Okay, you have this sliver of a relationship. You're like, oh my God, I have to hold on to this little string and let it just keep going like this, but it just keeps getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. I'm like, fucking just be bold, you know, you know, be bold, you know. I will. It, it, you know, it's it, because what's the point? No, I appreciate that. I should be you upfront because that is what I want in the short term is platonic. Well, but now, but now, but if you have a long term agenda, you know, with this guy, you're like, well, I want him, I want to be friends, but I want to become, I want him to become the one, then you're going to have, you're going to create stories in your head that's most likely going to be what's known as unrequited love. Okay, I want you to Google that later. Unrequited no. love. <laughs> Meaning you're going to create all these fantasies and you've already created fantasies already. Yes. <laughs> you probably masturbated to them already, you know, pulled out your vibrator and shit and gone off on him. Um, hey, I told folks, I'm here to call it the way I see it, okay? Um, so no, I've been a fan of yours for a few years. I know that yeah. this is not okay. my... So this is the penance you pay for being on. So, but I, my point is, um, my point is, you know what? Here's the thing. Doing the hard thing, doing is, is let's face it, it's not easy doing the hard things. Right. But the, when we do something hard, it's way more rewarding. And maybe sometimes we get smacked in the face. In fact, I wrote a quote that's kind of apropos for this. It says, some people come into your life to test you, some to teach you, some to use you, and some to bring out the very best in you. I don't know whose quote that is. I'm going to repeat that. Some people come into your life to test you, some to teach you, some to use you, and some to bring out the very best in you. You know, there's no accident we're having this conversation right now. There's no accident that you were brave enough to put yourself out there at this moment. So why not? You know, you know, you don't have to do it tomorrow, but when when are you expected to see him again? I don't know. Within the next week, I suppose. Okay. And and in what circumstances will you see him? Probably one of us will say we're going to go hike and do you want to join? Okay, now why do you say probably? So you've built enough rapport that this has happened. Well, because the only uh, thing we have in common in this season is we, we both like to hike. Otherwise, I work from home sometimes and I work in the office sometimes. And he is a retired uh, Army vet. And um, he's... Wait, you told me we had all these things in common. Now you're saying we only have one thing in common? Well, I'm saying like uh, calendar-wise... Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, personality-wise, we have a lot in common. Calendar-wise, um, you know, the only reason we got Why don't to you just kiss him and take him <laughs> to the next level? Oh, wait a minute. I said kissing is sacred, but um, <laughs> but you, it's not like he's a stranger, but um, kiss him on the cheek. Talk Give him a that. long hug. Give him a long hug. Thought about that, too. Actually, I thought about him giving me a long hug, but okay. Well, how about you giving him a long hug and then watch him <laughs> squirm and freak out? Uh, <laughs> and then he'll get a little roused and he'll get a little chubby. Um, <laughs> all right, my dear. Well, did I help? Absolutely. Always. Okay. We'll come back next week and let us know how it went. Okay. Did Thank I give you. you a big hug? Yes. And okay, thanks a bunch. All right. So Jonathan's fan has been on and she shared her story. You know, it's interesting. So to wrap up this uh, conversation, we just, she and I just had, um, you know, I, I recognize that there is a value into building, you know, a bit of familiarity with someone. It'd be great. You know, you build up that friendship. I mean, kind of Harry met Sally, so to speak. What I'm concerned about is she probably already has a preconceived idea of what she wants this to turn into. And if that's the case, I would much rather you approach it 
sooner rather than later, because what can happen is, as I said to her, a lot of stories can be made up in our head about him, knowing that not knowing whether or not he's dating other people, whether he's sleeping with someone else. And then all of a sudden, it's a more gigantic letdown. And so in that particular case, I'd rather someone act sooner rather than later. That's my suggestion to her. So big hugs for you for being on. Thanks a bunch.